Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, 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 the Ukrainian Navy confirms uh, destroying a Russian vessel in the Black Sea. They call it damaged, but then they say destroyed. <coughs> so, um, supposedly this uh, right here was attacked by the Ukrainians and damaged, destroyed at one point. This is the word I think they use uh, during this uh, article. So, let's read it. Ukrainska Pravda. Remember, these guys lied before, especially the intelligence services. And, uh, you know, so when they confirm something, is not a done deal. So, but as of now, they say yes, there were some noises, some explosions, the telegram, messaging app reported that as well. So, let's see. Ukrainian Navy confirms damage to Russian vessel Pavlev Derzavin, or Derz Derzavin, Derzavin, October 12, 2023, Thursday, today. Beautiful vessel. It says, on October 11th, the Pav Pavel Darzavin, a patrol vessel of Russia's Black Sea fleet, was damaged in the Black Sea near occupied Sevastopol. I will show you the map as well in a minute. Captain Third rank Dmitro Plechenchuk, spokesman for the Ukrainian Navy on air with Radio Liberty, blah blah Radio Liberty. And I'm quoting, you are the first people to whom I confirm this officially today that it was damaged. I can't give you any information about the circumstances of this incident. Let's call it that, but it is a fact. We'll see, right? Pletenchuk clarified that the Pavle, Pavel Derzavin is a Russian Navy vessel, although the Ukrainian Navy used to have a vessel of the same name. And I'm quoting, they have the same name as far as I remember. It was a very interesting moment before the war. I can only say that this is not the Ukrainian ship, end quote, he said. Earlier, media outlets and telegram channels reported that Pav Pavel Derzavin vessel had exploded, was not the destroyed, exploded for unknown reasons while on the outer raid of Sevastopol. The Krimsky Veter or Vit Veter Crimean Wind telegram channel stated that its subscribers reported hearing the sound of an explosion at around 10. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's AM. Natalia Humenyuk, head of the Joint Press Center of Defense Forces of Ukraine's South, said that the armed forces were clarifying whether this was true, but noted that everything is possible. Yeah, I know that everything is possible, almost everything, but is it probable? The Russian Ministry of Defense did not comment on this. So we have this colonel, Pletenchuk, you are the first people to whom I confirm this officially today, that he was damaged. I can't give you any information about the circumstances of this incident. Let's call it that, but it is a fact. All right, we're a beautiful uh, uh, ship over there. Let's look over the map. So here is the Black Sea down here. This is the Crimean Peninsula and this is Sevastopol. So they claim in this area probably. Now I know um, exactly where they didn't mention this is odessa here let's um this is romania the snake island is where my little strong hand here is or the arrow now this is where the snake island is so somewhere around sevastopol supposedly the russians moved their um, navy let me show you on the different map right here a different somewhere here novorossiysk so supposedly or uh, reportedly they moved from Sevastopol because they were too uh, easy to be hit by the Ukrainian drones here where is it right here in this area and uh, they launched when they launched their uh, when you read somewhere in any article they launch drones from uh, the Crimean Peninsula they launched it from this little tip right here so just so you know here is Kersh Bridge this is where they launched the drones. This is where they probably moved their um, uh, navy here. This is where they used to have it. This is the Azov Sea right here. <laughs> this is Melitopol and the Berdyansk. This is where the Ukrainians tried to break 
with their counteroffensive, and this is just bombardments. The Russians bombard Odessa, Nikolaev, and these two locations here, Ismail and Ren on the Danube River right here. So this is just so you know, kind of like where things are when you hear about them. So we're gonna find uh, out, or we're gonna wait for a confirmation coming from I don't know exactly whom. Maybe they're gonna give us some uh, videos later. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Now, this is not a fact. This is a statement. This is a report, a statement made by the colonel. All right. So if he says it's a fact, wait, we don't know. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.